Hey guys, it's Phantom Zex the Center here, back again with another Phantom Zex the Center video. And today I finally bring you Leo X the Center um, Christmas edition. And I forgot to record that yesterday. Well, not that I did yesterday, it's because, like I said, I was going live and my grandma turned off the hotspot. I finally got some data on like recording this at what 5 25 in the morning. I hope I don't wake anybody up. I really hope so. Please, if you hear like a bunch of roosters um, roosting in the background, please ignore that. I'll try to, you know, fix the audio when I get to CapCut, but my Instagram, Discord link server, songs that I use, and Wattpad will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. And we're very, very close to 4K. How are you guys doing this? You guys are amazing. It was almost a perfect Christmas day. It was a white Christmas. It wasn't so, so cold like it used to be. But at least temperatures were alright to just, you know, take a walk in a park or sit around the iced lake. You were walking home after you had a long day of work. And let's say Leonardo was a perfectionist. Not that he had OCD, quote unquote, or something, but he wanted everything that Christmas to be perfect for you and him. He was down at the lair. <clears throat> he was down at the lair, trying to figure out what gift to give for you, since he barely knew little about you, and you two were just dating. You get you started dating just a few months ago. Take a sip of this coffee. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. Mm. This time the coffee isn't cold. <clears throat> I need to know what the perfect present for them is going to be. Um, Leonardo whined. Donatello said behind them, You guys have been dating just for a little bit. It's okay if you don't get them the perfect gift. Leo replied, still whining. But I know we haven't been dating for so long. But... I want to get them something that they'll love. He, Donatello replied to him, What about you? Don't they love you? Leo blushed. I mean, yeah. So get them something you like. Like, you know how you two absolutely love Space Heroes? Get them something from Space Heroes. He rolled his eyes. Um, Leo snapped. Not snapped out of anger, but snapped his fingers. Perfect. All right, I'll be back. He rubbed his katanas just in case and went out. While he was um, running around from ro rooftop to rooftop, looking at a place that could be a little antique to get you the perfect action figure for Christmas, he saw you roaming down the street to go back home. Of course, he kept his mouth shut. Even though he wanted to be a gentleman and take you home, he, he thought that you might um, have a stalker or he might be a spy, like despite him just going to a place. So he shrugged it off. Once he got to the antique store, or just, you know, an antique toy store, he made sure he found your favorite character, a comic book, and maybe a few shirts. He thanked the man and bought the things for you. Once he got back to the lair, he started working on your present. Once he had once he had it done and he thought it would look perfect just for you, he left the present there and made sure you got home safely. You heard tapping on your window. I can't make tapping sound effects right now. But take a sip of this coffee. I think my brain isn't loading because I'm afraid of everybody waking up. <laughs> but anyway, you looked over since you had just gotten out of the shower and gotten dressed from an exhausting, well, kind of exhausting perfect day. You opened the window and said, Leonardo, come in, it's cold outside. He hopped in and said, it's not too cold. Not that I can't handle. He said, You look wonderful. 
smiling. You blushed and said, thank you. <laughs> I like your little Santa hat, he smiled. Thanks, I brought you one too. Oh, thank you, you replied. Um, I, I was thinking, Le Leah replied. Could we have a, you know, small Christmas together? Like a Christmas party, but just for us two? If that's alright, if you're not a big one to celebrate Christmas, then that's okay too. He seemed a little nervous while getting close to you. You held his face and said, of course, I want... Anyway, you said, of course I would. Why would I ever decline a, <laughs> a cute offer like that or a cute gesture? He smiled while his face tinted red a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. He gave you a little forehead smooch. You two went outside to your kitchen, and the first thing you got started on was Space Hero cookies and TMNT cookies. He ended up helping you out with a few Space Hero cookies and said, Ooh, I'm making Captain? Okay, look, I forgot some of the Space Hero names because I haven't watched him in a long time. Like, you know, a rewatch to go over everything, seeing bloopers, seeing if they said, like, quote unquote, bad words. So I ended up forgetting some of the Space Hero characters' names. So please don't judge me. And be like a Leo Skinny and be like, oh, th these are their names, blah, blah, blah. You're such a non Leo Kinney. Some people have done that. <clears throat> So he came up behind you respectfully. He didn't really lean himself into you, but he mainly started nuzzling your neck since you were pretty warm and he was a little cold. He started helping you out with some of the space hero cookies and said, you should probably do this. This one a little curvy and this one <laughs> looking a little bit more angry like Raphael. He gave you a slight kiss on the cheek. Mm. You blushed, thinking a completely different subject, not like that, and said, <laughs> Thanks, Leo. Didn't you realize that at a haul? He said, No problem. You can always count on me when it comes to icing decorating. You guys got a few drinks out of the fridge. You guys did have hot cocoa first before having the cold drinks because you guys didn't want to catch a cold. Of course, you guys watch Space Heroes. And let's say Space Heroes had not just series, but movies. You guys watched a few um, Christmas special bloopers and you guys started to watch Christmas movies. Right into the Christmas movies, Leo was so not exhausted, but... He was a little tired from watching the Space Heroes one. He was holding his hot cocoa still. You were already on your cold drinks. He started dozing off. Once he finally dozed off, he laid his head on your shoulder. You looked over and said, Oh, he fell asleep. How about we turn a little bit of the TV off and we go to my room and snuggle? You turn the TV off. Leo immediately noticed his, like, you know, not surroundings, but the sound. It kind of went off. You thought Leo was completely asleep, but his mind was still on. So was sound, surprisingly. So when you turned the TV off, he rose his head up and said, Huh? We turned the TV off. You said, Me? With the remote in your hand. I thought you were asleep. He said, Oh no, I was just resting my head. <laughs> We can watch a little longer if you want. He smiled, rubbing the back of his neck slightly. He said, sit yourself. Hope you don't fall asleep this time. You winked while chuckling. He blushed a little bit, crossing his arms. <laughs> I wasn't asleep. You replied, sure, sure. A few more hours while watching you, a few more Christmas movies you had on your list. Finally, he actually dozed off. Take a sip of this coffee. By the way, um, there was this part in the video where I probably already cut, but 
I heard this little water thing coming from outside and I was like, oh my God, my grandma's already awake. And it was just my uncle um, doing his business outside and I forgot, oh, one of them sleep in their car. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I got so freaking scared. So he looked over your shoulder and Leonardo was finally asleep. You turn the TV off, clean the table up, and then you pick Leonardo up. Well, before picking him up, you thought, um, isn't it a little rude since we've only been dating him for a few months for us to cuddle already? Mm. You just shrug it off and give the Apollo and Blanket, Space Heroes Edition, and go to your room with Fluffball. Fluffball kept bothering you about Leo and everything. Let's say you could understand your pet. Fluffball was just meowing annoyingly saying you should pick him up you guys should cuddle it's a couple thing once you finally gave up you picked up leo bridal style and laid him down in bed and made sure he was comfortable he was actually listening to everything and he heard you talking to fluffball there you happy um fluffball meowed um just a small satisfied meow you said, oh god, how did I end up with something cute but stupid at the same time like you? No offense to you, Fluffball. Fluffball kind of rolled their eyes, laying out another annoying meow. Oh my god, Rooster, shut the fuck up. You close your um, bedroom door, turning the lamp off, just looking at the white snow um, from your window. Let's say it was raining slash snowing because technically snow is just rain but frozen. So it was kind of raining slash snowing so you could kind of hear droplets or just rain on your on your window. You lay down next to Leo, scared to hug him or grab him by the waist, but you did it. You wrapped your arm around his neck and kept him close. After a few minutes of Leo being embarrassed inside his own mindset, because you were thinking, oh, oh, he may just be embarrassed or he's probably just into deep sleep. He actually grabbed you by the waist, gently pulling you closer and you two were very, very close. He started nuzzling you and you enjoyed it very much. Fluffball joined in, and Fluff, Fluffball's POV slash thoughts finally, like, I was waiting for this. They started to cut, you two, well, you three started cuddling since Fluffball decided to join in by your side. Leonardo thought to himself, oh my god, oh my god, we're, we're finally cuddling. I finally did it. Oh, this could have never been the perfect Christmas without them uh, you thought to yourself holy truffle mac and cheese no cursing in this video <sighs> am i really just cuddling him right now oh god i wonder what my parents would think if i were caught you chuckled in your head in your thoughts you two held each other and cuddled each other until morning come once leah woke up um, it was Christmas morning, let's say it was the day before Christmas, and he said, mm -mm. Morning, love. <laughs> you looked down at him and said, Morning, uh, why are you grinning like that? Well, you'll find out. He got up, you know, doing his morning routine, waiting for you in the living room. You did the same, and then sat next to him and said, Leo, what are you up to? He pulled out a present that looked, well, a little box that looked like a galaxy box. Very shiny, a few stars on top. Looked very, very creative. And you, and you said, oh, Leo, for me, you didn't, you didn't have to. You passed a cute little blue box to him too. It was actually, well, it was a long box. It was actually a few space hero things, new katanas, because you thought it would be a nice gift for him. 
and these cherry blossom chopsticks you surprisingly found in Tokyo when you took the trip with Master Splinter. I'll explain that later. Leo just squeaked because he loved the katanas and said, thank you, thank you, I was really needing these. You opened yours and you gasped and said, a Space Heroes Limited Edition shirt and action figures? Ah, you two were squealing at your gifts and hugged each other. There was a mistletoe beneath both of you. Um, Fluffball has their ways and he said, oh, look, uh, mistletoe. Um, you know what that means? He grinned a little with a slight smirk. You say, Oh, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. <laughs> you rose an eyebrow. Well, he wrapped his arms around your neck, acting like, you know, acting like the girl. You decided to be bold this time. You lean in and kiss him. And um, Fluffball takes a little Polaroid picture with Leo <laughs> lifting up his leg a little bit like it was some sort of gorgeous, magical kiss. I'm not really gonna make realistic kissing sounds because it's the morning right now. It's almost 6 a.m. After you two had your passionate kiss, you two stared at each other and smiled. You two decided to make some coffee and just, you know, play some cute lovey dovey Christmas songs for you two and danced around the house basically having your wonderful christmas and that's all for today guys take a sip of this coffee i would never leave you guys empty-handed it's what the 29th it's almost the end of the year and of course i'm going to do a new year's eve or new year's video for you guys i would never leave you empty-handed like that um and by the way, I'm so sorry about the interruptions. There were like so many interruptions um, and I got scared I would be heard or anything like that. I'll make sure to cut those out. But that's all for today. My Instagram, Discord link server, wet pad and socks that you use will be in the description below. Excuse me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're very, very close to 4K. I don't know how the hell you guys are doing this. Um, by the way, you guys asked me how my Christmas was. It wasn't good. It was like one of those just boring Christmas here in Brazil. I had a debate about this with my friend, but it's just really boring. Really, really boring. It's like it doesn't exist. It's like, keyword, it's like. It doesn't exist. So I didn't really get a gift or anything. I would say the monster energy can I got at my aunt's house was a gift. Good enough for me. And then my mom was to say, I'm ungrateful. But, um, yeah, I didn't really get anything. And then you're probably going to be commenting, what's your address? I will give you something right now. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. Like, I'm just saying, I didn't get anything. All I ever wanted was a TMNT hoodie or shirt. Since I don't have TMNT merch. But I'll see you guys in the next video just giving you guys a little heads up and update and i'll see you guys there bye